Hi guys, I'm Caroline from Film Club. Pleasure to meet you all. Hi, Pleasure to meet you, Caroline. So, do you guys know what, who Film Club are? We're a charity okay. promote the importance of films in schools across the country. Oh, and I'm charity. one of their young reporters, so oh, I'm nice. 18. Good out stuff. and about. Hey. Yeah. We're going to put you through the mill. We're going to oh, make God. it so hard for you. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. I saw the film the other day and I loved it. Yeah, I it was really delicious. Loved it. Good. Exactly. Woohoo. Good stuff. Um, so the books have a really strong fan base, as I'm sure you're already aware. The fans look forward to seeing the world come to life. How do you find the balance between staying faithful to the book but then also having like your own spin on the character? I mean, I think you, you uh, in a way, you have to, uh, you know, follow your instincts. Yeah. I, I was a huge fan of the books before, uh, before doing the movie anyway, so I felt like I kind of already, w I was a fan. So yeah. I kind of mm. knew what I wanted to see as a fan and um, I knew who I thought Clary was, um, but then, knowing also that everyone else has their own idea of who she yeah. is, is is in a way that kind of is a relief because you know everyone else in the world is going to have an idea. Mm -hmm. So you can't possibly do everyone else's ideas. It's not like you just have a, a, a writer who hasn't had the character you know, exposed to anyone else yet because otherwise it would just be her idea. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like, well, if there's millions, then it can't focus on anyone's but my yeah. own. Yeah. So it's kind of easier to like... I guess compartmentalize in that sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, what we have to do is take the essence of the characters that, yeah. the, the, you know, the, the the fans of the books fell in love with. We have to condense that, you know, into two hours, just over two hours worth yeah. of movie. You know, obviously with a book, you have a vast, expansive sort of, you know, pages to explore yeah. the world, and we have to take what it is that the people fell in love with and make that our own, and and also stay true to that. Um, and I think that that's what we managed to do for sure everything you've heard about monsters about nightmares legends whispered around campfires all the stories are true and your characters go on quite the emotional roller coaster um do you sh shoot all the scenes in order mm. or do you sadly it, not no, no, no so no. how do you like go from like one extreme to the other, like without sort of jumbling all your emotions up as actors. I'm very much the kind of person that goes, sorry, where about am I meant <laughs> yeah, to be at this point yeah, in time? Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> I think like the amount of, I mean, Clary goes through these who, what, when, where, why questions yeah. every five minutes anyway. Yeah. Um, and it's quite confusing. So if you use the confusion, you use the yeah. annoyance, you use the frustration, and you can channel that into some sort of emotion, guaranteed it's gonna show on your face. Yeah. So it's kind of <laughs> just like, just basically using anything that happens during the day or any surroundings. And at least, you, we, I mean, we obviously know the plot points. Yeah. It's, mm. You know, it's not like it's a paint by numbers thing, but like when you have Harold saying exactly, cause he was so specific, mm. In that sense, he was very aware of where he wanted us to be. Yeah. So when you have someone that's aware, and then us who are willing to be kind of spontaneous with it, it mm. kind of marries yeah. together really well. What are you looking at? Where can I see you and no one else can? You're not a mundane. What is a mundane? Someone from the human world. Well, if I'm not a human, then what am I? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. And you've got a lot of action scenes, like the vampire scene, that was pretty cool. And also, but you also have like dialogue scenes with loads of witty dialogue and also quite emotional scenes. As actors, which ones do you prefer doing? Sort of action-y ones or ones where you actually have to think about, you know... Not that you don't have to think when you're running around. Right. Mm -hmm. I like the witty stuff. I mean, I like... I prefer, I prefer the witty stuff with you and then the stuff with you. Like, I, yeah. I like more of the back and forth sparring and stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. That's the stuff you can have the most fun with. And I really quite enjoy the stuff where you have to get emotional with, you know, with other human beings, you know, yeah. we, because that's that's our job. You know, I mean, when it comes to the action and stuff, they <laughs> put a lot of hours into the training and, and the choreography yeah. and stuff. But I think because they, you know, for the acting, for the, you know, the emoting, that's mm. where you really get to kind of stretch your muscles and and go all out, and that's the yeah. stuff I enjoy doing the most. I think each character in the movie has a really specific moment, acting-wise, where they sort of either open up or, or there's a sort of real yeah. point of, like, for Simon, you know, it's the scene where, I'm, I don't want to, like, have any spoilers, but for, for Simon, for yeah. Robbie, you know, there's a particular scene where you really, like, it's a really heartfelt moment, and it's beautiful, and it's, yeah. like, the moment where you sort of, 
you know, these characters are sort of, they're very defined in who they are anyway. Yeah. You know? And to have those moments where we sort of open up and we show who we are, you know, is really yeah. important, yeah. I think. And yeah. and there are those moments in the movie. Yeah. And that's, sure. that's the most fun for me or for as an actor, you know, just, just showing the cracks, you know. Yeah. Letting the armor down for a few minutes. Your mother was a shadow hunter. Like him, like you. I've been killing demons across the world in their varying different forms. You killed two cops! They weren't cops! Shadow hunters. Half angel, half human. Beings of immense power. As you know, shadow hunters, they have runes which they draw on with their steels, their special swords to protect them. I have my own steel here. I would like one of you to attempt to draw your very oh. own rune. You said you had a good one. I though. do. A day, yeah. a day, <laughs> a day. <laughs> We've been in London. So, I have, I have. We've been in London literally you, 24 you hours, hours British, and she already suddenly. sounds like she's been on the set oh, of EastEnders. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. Yeah. She has I been on the set. I yeah. yeah. Sure. Am, I, am I coming to you? I'll... Do you want me to tell you what that means? Yeah. Guys, that's the... Yeah, it, the it, yeah it's yeah. like, it's supposed to be seen like, put your arm down, like that. It's the rune of grace and confidence to always carry well, yourself. Wow. Yeah. What more can you say, guys? That's there you go. Amazing. Saying saying grace and then whacking off an earring. You should talk you on us for the interviews. <laughs> yeah, should, you should have seriously. see you should have runes for interviews. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for chatting. Hey, thank you. you. Yeah, you did you've amazing been graceful job. and confident right throughout. Graceful. There you go. Brilliant. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.